day 55 here in Istanbul. Woo! It's a hot one today. Yeah, baby. We're Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Like everybody, the coronavirus is affecting our daily lives and our around the world drive has now come to a standstill. We give you an insight into our daily lives, self-isolating in a car park in Istanbul. Well, it's hotting up here in Turkey. It's about 28, 29 degrees and Chris and I have got the awning out. We're sat outside and we've been working all morning. Anyway, we've got coffee. Which seems a little bit insane as it's so. I know. This lovely young couple just walked up to the van. They checked in with security first. They walked up, kept their distance and just gave us a bag. Look it's just this. so nice. Look, and this is the one that we talked about that Marianne loves. This is my favorite it's one. It's the favorite one because it's kind of like, looks like shredded wheat for those back home. And I've got very sticky fingers now from just touching it. Yes, you have. This has to be eaten with a coffee. Let me just try it to make sure it's all right for you. What? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Can I have like the crunchy bit? I actually prefer the crunchy oh, bit on top. it's all good. It's all good. I'm just going to do that. <laughs> oh. It's very good. Very good. So one of the highlights of our week is actually emptying our waste water, which is just on the other side of the car park, which we're going to do now because it's full. But also with the weather warming up here in Istanbul, we've decided we're going to try and uh, move the van and park it the other direction so that the door's actually facing um, towards the hotel because the sun comes around this way and uh, in the afternoon, even with the awning out, it gets to the point where it's really hot and very, very bright. So, uh, so yeah, we're going to try and park, park uh, lengthways rather than across the car park. Right, you all ready, my love? I'm ready, and we're using nature's shade. There's a big tree. That yeah, there is. There's a, this big tree here, because the sun comes round this way, creates some shade in the corner of this car park. So we're gonna park um, up in that corner. I think it's 31 degrees in the next few days, so it's going to get warm. So that's all our washing up water coming out there and we're just going to uh, flush a bit of fresh water through just to uh, stop any smell in the drain. We've got a little hose here. Morning Ali. Yes, what? Okay. All right, you. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> okay. Good job. So this is our new spot. So uh, it's a little bit better. It's gonna create a bit more shade around here and then from this tree. So we just gotta move the table and we're all good. Good morning. So it is day 61 in self-isolation here in Istanbul. And uh, it's another beautiful sunny day today. We, uh, we normally get the awning out in first thing in the morning, but today is actually quite windy. Um, so we've set up behind the uh, van. So this little area here, we've moved the table behind, opened the door to give a little bit of shade. Um, but we think we're gonna move the van back, back this way um, because it will then act as a bit of a wind barrier today. We're sharing stories from our friends around the world during this pandemic. So here's a short clip to show you what our friends at Seal Rescue Ireland are up to. 
Hi Chris and Mary Ann from Tread the Globe. We're the team from Seal Rescue Ireland. You came to visit us about two years ago and we just wanted to check in and see how you're doing and let you know how we're getting along during this COVID-19 pandemic. Um, since the pandemic started, we had to close our doors to visitors and we've had to cancel all public fundraising events. So although fundraising has taken a hit, our work behind closed doors does continue. Wildlife rehabilitation is considered essential service. So we're still rescuing seals we're still caring for seals and in fact we've had a lot of seals that right about now are entering their time to be released so we've been releasing lots of seals and live streaming them so people can join us from home we've also taken this opportunity as um, a time to make lots of maintenance upgrades around the center we've painted our center inside and out and we've been tending to our biodiversity garden and planting lots and lots of trees we've also been caring for our patch um, within our two kilometer radius we have been doing lots of litter picks and we're even doing some bio monitoring now um, to really uh, explore and appreciate the flora and fauna that are in our own backyards so we hope you're staying safe and healthy wherever you are and for everyone watching this please stay home stay safe we're all in this together and we're really looking forward to coming back together once again once the pandemic is over so thanks from everybody here at Seal Rescue Ireland. So today is day 62 of self-isolation here in Istanbul, Turkey. And uh, today is another special day. It's the 19th of May. And uh, today is actually the commemoration of Atatürk Youth and sports day and normally what happens on this day every year is throughout the country there are sporting events held today and all the way from the black sea to ankara young athletes march and um, i'm not sure whether it's happening today because of the lockdown um, but today we've already seen a procession of motorbikes going down the uh, the main street uh, behind the van. Jalal very kindly caught it on camera for us today. And um, we've heard that tonight there's going to be um, some kind of celebration or song. I think they sing the national anthem again um, at around a seven o'clock tonight. And uh, already I can see that some of the houses and flats here have hung their Turkish flags out. So that'll be really nice to see. So we'll come back out tonight. And one of the things the guys here have been doing is planting vegetables in the flower bed it's too hot to be working. It's very hot. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Good job. Look. Tomatoes. Tomatoes. He's planting. He he's planting lots of tomatoes here. You. Machine motor. Make the hole. Motor. There you go. Evlat. Clip checkers. Clip. Hey Ali. El Salen. Tonight so the guys here have been working really hard uh, doing the, the veg here and they've, they've weeded all the flower bed all the way around the van here. And uh, it's looking good. We've, uh, we've been actually helping because they planted these cucumber plants and um, the slugs have been really getting them. So what we've done is we've put some eggshells around them and uh, we've been coming out at night flicking off all the snails and slugs that we can see just to keep them going but there's there's a few that have lost the battle um, but that's really nice and the mint the mint's growing well here shame we haven't got mojito time and uh, yeah so it's all it's all been weeded and now we're taking you all the way to Australia. Hi, Chris and Marianne from Trent and Floyd. We are Marissa and Alan. The Quazis. And we met exactly a year ago in Sabuk Champagne in Guatemala. So happy anniversary. Uh, we have since returned to Australia, unfortunately, and moved up to Queensland. Well, unfortunately, because of the travel restrictions, we haven't been able to go back to Sydney to visit our family 
but um, on the bright side, we're in a beautiful part of the world. We have amazing beaches like the one behind us that we can enjoy. Um, today, for the first time, we had breakfast at a cafe. We've both been able to um, work, so fortunately, we haven't had too many issues keeping busy. Um, been trying uh, to a few puzzles and uh, we've been trying to do some arts and crafts, but otherwise just been living up here on the coast. Uh, we're quite lucky in Australia. Our numbers of coronavirus cases have been quite low. So we've started, we've started opening up a little bit more and hopefully we're going to be able to travel soon and see our family. And hopefully we can meet you guys somewhere in the world at some stage. Stay safe. Stay safe guys. Bye. Bye. So we're just catching up with the news online. Four day nationwide lockdown between the 23rd and the 26th of May. Um, and then it says that there will be additional travel restrictions extended for 15 of Turkey's provinces. Istanbul is one of them for a period of 15 days. And looking at another paper here, it says that the travel ban will continue between the 20th of May and the 3rd of June. So that's not too bad. So it's saying it's extended until the 3rd of June, uh, which is a little bit after Ramadan. Um, so now we're going to um, probably spend tomorrow thrashing out some ideas on what the plan is. Um, and there's lots to think about. So we'll be sure to share that with you. It's the National Youth Day here in Turkey. It actually commemorates their independence back in the early 1900s. So we are expecting the national anthem to be sung from the balconies like before on the Children's Day. And just to get in the spirit of things, what have you done, love? I put one of our favourite flags in the world on our home. There you go. So we've got the the Turkish flag here just to be part of it. And uh, well, actually, now we're residents of Istanbul, we feel it's only natural to just join in. There in you the go. Of it. Absolutely. So the guys are coming out. The guys are coming out on the balconies, and uh, I think they must do this for every like. National Bank Holiday. It's a very nice thing. So the guys have just told me as well that Ramadan is finishing in three nights. So in four days, there's going to be some partying and some celebrating to celebrate the end of Ramadan. So that's really nice because everyone's, we've got such a lovely group of family. So we're excited. And there's our brother. There's our brother up on the balcony. It's the national anthem. So Marianne's got the national anthem going. We're trying to film the guys on the balcony up here singing. So it is nearly nine o'clock and we've come back outside because apparently at nine o'clock they sing again and uh, have some more celebrations. It's fireworks. I can hear fireworks. So we've got five minutes to go but you can actually hear fireworks on the other side of the city and they're really loud because I thought it was thunder. I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up. So with all these fireworks that seem to be going on forever, you wonder why they're doing them when nobody can go out. But of course, they're going to be televised and uh, shown. And apparently it's all happening now um, down by the main bridge in uh, Istanbul. Turkey has capped off its youth and sports day with a spectacular fireworks display here in Istanbul. I think that's the spirit, isn't it? You can't let this kind of world epic pandemic just uh, stop everything. Stop everything. You still have to have it. Even people just standing out on their balconies are listening to it.
Exactly. It's the way forward. Marianne's got her Turkish flag and her mask. Chalel's got his mask on and he's got the flag. And Ali, our neighbors come down. Yes, thank you. Just when you thought it was all going to calm down, the general came out with his lights. <laughs> Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. Ah, and that's why they've done the M. <laughs> but there's a lot of bangs. I can do sign language for fireworks. <laughs> so we're expecting songs from the houses here, songs from the hotel, songs from the building there. The people breaking lockdown should be singing over there. <laughs> and what is that? <laughs> <laughs>